In this NVIDIA video tutorial, we're going to focus on the time-saving feature of presets. I want you to think of a preset as a template of pre-configured gallery settings that make gallery setup quick and easy. There are a total of four preset options. Client galleries and IPS sessions will each have two presets. One for gallery settings and a second for theme settings. The theme settings will set the gallery's look and feel Quick settings or gallery settings include access and security, selling, culling, room view, digital download, review, and message settings. To find presets, first select the gallery menu, and at the bottom of the list you'll see presets. Here's where you'll find the preset options. Now remember there are two types of presets, gallery settings and theme settings that can be applied to or created for each one of the gallery types which is a client gallery or an IPS gallery. You can see there's already some presets that have been created. So underneath the client gallery, gallery setting presets, you can see there's two that have been created. One's named children's gallery, the other preset is named family gallery. And under theme settings, there's one preset that's been created and it's the studio branding for a client gallery. So let's go ahead and move on to creating our first preset and we'll create that for an IPS gallery for the gallery settings and the theme settings. So we'll go ahead and click on create preset and the preset type is going to be for gallery settings and the gallery type is going to be an in-person sales gallery. The preset name will be children's for a children's gallery and we'll go ahead and click on next step. Here we can start to configure our gallery setting preset for an IPS session. Working through the steps on the left side of the screen, we'll start with the presentation workflow. For this preset, I want to include the workflow steps, so to do that, I need to check the box to include in preset. Here I can make any modifications to the workflow that I want to. Just be sure to click Save to save your changes. Next, we'll move on to Selling. To view the shopping cart options, go ahead and check to include in preset. We'll allow online ordering, the price list to use for this particular preset, We'll set that. We can show pricing. We can also allow manual fulfillment, change those options if we need. I'm going to go ahead and allow cropping for this preset. And then there are some options for real view, which are not going to be part of my preset. So I'm going to go ahead and go back up to the top and click save to save the changes that have been made for this particular step of the preset. Slideshow currently, there are no options for the preset. So next we'll move on to culling. Here we can select the options to be used for the rating system, the initial culling view, as well as creating a set of specific favorite folders. The last option to look at is the room view option. So I'm going to go ahead and include that in the preset as on. Save that and I can go through and double check all of my settings to be sure I've got everything set up correctly for this particular preset. Now let's go ahead and move on to creating a preset for theme settings. Remember that theme settings are for the gallery's look and feel. So specifically, I want to create a preset for an IPS gallery theme settings. We've already got gallery settings for children's, family, and seniors, but no theme settings. So go ahead and click on Create Preset, Theme Settings, In-Person Sales Gallery. Let's go ahead and give this preset a name. So the name of this preset is Studio Brand IPS. What I'm going to do is create a preset of theme settings for an IPS gallery that is branded for my studio. Once this preset is created, every time I go to create a new IPS gallery, I can go ahead and select the preset of theme settings and apply that on the fly quickly to each one of the galleries that I build that I want to have branded for my studio. Keep in mind you can also build different theme settings for different types of galleries, say a wedding that you want to have with specific colors and maybe you want to be able to change those colors and fonts and tailor those to a specific bride and groom. In any case, let's go ahead and get started building our preset. Starting with the welcome screen, let's go ahead and include that in the preset and the image display I'm going to set to split screen. There's no need for an image fade. I'm going to go ahead and include two text lines. Then for the title color, I'll leave that at white. And for studio name, I'm going to go ahead and leave the hide studio name option off. Our next option to select is colors, so let's go ahead and include that. Theme will remain white. Accent color, I'm going to change the accent color for my buttons to a specific color. 
Uh, the text color remain black, large image background, all those are going to remain the same. Remember not to choose a text color that's the same or similar to the theme color. It's always better to go for a higher contrast for legibility. Click Save. Then we'll move on to Brands and Studio Information. So if you utilize multiple brands, you can create the different theme settings based on the brand. So this one's going to be for my Enview brand. Again, Save. Then for Image Display, I always want to have the file names on. We'll go ahead and Save. So you can see how quickly we can create this preset now that again, we can apply this as we build out our galleries on the fly. It's time now to take a look at the time-saving power of presets. I've created and uploaded images to an event, so let's go ahead and create an in-person sales session. Now I can go ahead and apply the presets that I've created for my IPS gallery. So here are my quick settings, which are the gallery settings. I'm going to go ahead and select my senior IPS gallery. You can also preview those settings before you apply them. That looks good to me. Then for my theme, I'm going to go ahead and select my studio brand. Click Finish to save. By using presets, you can see how quickly I got this IPS session ready to go. The only thing left to do is to add my images for my slideshow. And add my client's name to the welcome screen. You can also change a preset from the editor. Just click on Presets, and this will allow you to select or change the preset being used for the gallery settings or for the theme settings. If you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our live support team. And as always, thank you for watching.